Hey guys, my name is Freedom. The CC5, the Character Creator 5 is released. And this is the CC5 avatar. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the CC5 avatar into the Unreal Engine 5.6.1 to make it become the main avatar or any of the NPC in your Unreal Engine 5.6 game project. And this is really revolutionary. So start from now, I'm going to show you all the step by step how to make this happen. So I will start everything from beginning. This is the CC5 and I'm going to show you how to export this and use the correct export the correct export methods and configuration. So first what you need to do is just create a new folder on your desktop. Just name this random avatar as the model 01 then here click file export fbx cloth character so whatever i show you here is the easiest method so just follow the step by step so target two presets you may feel that you want to choose the unreal engine but actually everything i already set for you just choose the blender then here the install lod just take it make sure you merge the material all and here mesh only embed the texture this is very important at the same time this one the merge opacity to diffuse texture you have to take it make sure it just, just click export click ok then i will just export it on my desktop the model 01 at here the file name i will just name this as model 01 i click save now it is going to export as the FBX file. Just wait for a while until your FBX is ready. Now it is exporting, it may just take a few seconds to maybe about one minute. It depends on your computer speed. All right, now done, the FBX file is ready. It already finished exported from the CC4. So next we are going to import into the Unreal Engine 5.6. Now. I'm going to launch the Unreal Engine from the Epic Game Launcher. Just wait for a while here. It is launching. And as demo, I'm going to just show you from beginning, just create a fresh new third person game project from here. Now a fresh new third person game project is loading. Just wait for a few seconds here. Now done. It is already here. Make sure you go to the window content browser to call out the content browser once. For my content browser one, it's already at here. The first step, what you need to do is just import the FBX file. Just right click, create a new folder here. Name this new folder as model 01. Follow your 3D avatar's name. Just double click it. Then next, import the FBX file, just drag into here, the model 01, and after a while, it is going to use a few seconds for translating source file, just wait. Once it's done, just pop out the import content. You don't need to change the configuration, just click import, everything will be ready. Just wait for a few seconds for importing. All right, next. It already successfully imported. The next step, we just need to adjust the material texture. So now you can see your 3D avatar is already here, your CC5 avatar, but the material setup is not ready yet. So just go through one more step here. The material is set here. You already bake it into just one, just a piece of the material. This is a big material. What you need to do is just hold your control and just take off the opacity mask then from here the your opacity mass map just drag the alpha to connect the opacity mass then click the empty area until you can see the two sides you have to take it then click save done back to the model you can see all of the material texture already done set up done all right, next, just click save and close. 
So you already have this skeletal mesh. We are going to turn, we are going to convert this 3D avatar into the player game avatar. If you try to play this game, you can see the main avatar of this game project is the mannequin. So we are going to replace this just by using the CC4, the, your CC5 3D avatar. We are going to make this become your main avatar. So what can you do? Next step, we need to install a plugin that's called the Freedom Animation Pipeline. So what you need to do is just go to my video description to get the Freedom Animation Pipeline 9.0 for Android Engine 5.6. This is one of the plugins that created by me that make your life easier. It is really awesome. It is really fast to convert any of the CC5 avatar into the Unreal Engine 5.6 game project. So what you need to do is just get it and install. How to install? Once you already extract it, have this. Then right click the document, open in a new fold folder in a new window. You can see the Unreal project and just now your Unreal project, the project name is my project tree. Just double click here, then open the content folder. Next, back to the Freedom Animation Pipeline folder. Double click the content here. Copy the Freedom Animation Pipeline into the content folder. So click here, Control C at here, Control V. We are going to duplicate and copy this plugin into here. Once you already successfully copied, then back to your Unreal project, back to the content folder. You should be able to see the Freedom Animation Pipelines here. So now, to make your life easier, just go quickly, go into the Freedom Animation Pipeline until you can see the CC4 big. Just double click it until you can see the IK rig here. We are going to duplicate this IK rig. Just right click, duplicate, and rename this as just by using your 3D avatar's name, model01, then underscore IK rig. Then double click this. All of the setup is ready, but we need to just change the preview skeleton mesh. Just choose the model01. The model01 is, is your 3D avatar. Just choose it, done. Then save. Next, close this. We back to the content folder, the, the Freedom Animation Pipeline. Next, you have to go into a folder that's named UE4 A Post Mannequin. Just double click it, go into the character, go into the mesh. At here, you need to search the UE4 A Post to CC4 Big IK Retargeter. We need this. Do the same way, right click and duplicate. Then rename this as UE4 A post underscore to then underscore here you put your 3D avatar's name for this case it's model01 then underscore IK retargeter alright now once you've done this step just double click in here the apply offset you just choose no and choose no next the target you have to choose your IK rig just now. So just now the IK rig that you already renamed is the model 01 IK rig. Then select no. Next. At here you can see the assets browser. Some of the asset that already created that here, like the MMA post or sample dance. So for all of this, the first step you just need to just turn on the bones, turn on the all hierarchies. You should be able to see your 3D avatar's bone and just have a look again. Next, we are going to just retarget this. So we are going to just scroll down until you see you can see the T post. Click the T post and scroll up. Then hold the shift. Click the first one. Click. Then click export the selected animation. At here, just go back to the Model 01 folder. Click, right click, create a new folder for your Model 01. This is the main folder for your 3D avatar just now. So the new folder, just name this as animation. Then click export. 
click export it is going to export all of this as the first step all right now back to the folder you can see for this time it is not really all success just have a look sometimes that there will be some bugs here for all of these are the failure i just click the first one hold the shift click the last one just delete it first delete and we are going to retarget it again so we have to back to the UE4A post mannequin under the character mesh go back to the retargeter UE4A post to model 01 retargeter just have a check run female so just try again click the t-post scroll up hold the shift click the first one just export the selected animation into the model 01 animation just export this export for this time we are going to observe to see is there any failure again it should be no problem for all of this just wait until it finish and have a look again we have to make sure all success Alright, for this time, it almost almost done. This is the A-post. It is the correct one. The MMA kick, the either female. We can just check it. Yeah. For this time, this is really success. Successfully exported all. So now, next, you have to back to the UE4 A-post mannequin here. Go into the animation folder until you can see the animation blueprint. Then, we are going to retarget the third-person animation blueprint of the UE4A post mannequin. Right-click, retarget the animation, and here, the source skeletal mesh is already correct. The target skeletal mesh, you have to choose, choose yours, the model 01, and here, auto-generate the retargeter, we don't, we don't choose this, we have to untick it, then choose your own retargeter, UE4A post to model 01 IK retargeter we need this and then here we select the third person animation blueprint just click export the animation then export under the, the model 01 folder just right click create a new folder name this as the animation underscore blueprint so now just click export export once you've done this step you already can make this cc5 avatar to become the game avatar so next time next what you need to do is rename the third person animation blueprint just click and press f2 then press the underscore name name it model 01 follow your 3d avatars name then next you can just back to the content folder we already reached the last step we want to to just make this cc5 avatar to become the game avatar double click the third person blueprint you see when you see the third person bp third person character you right click it duplicate it and name this put an underscore here model 01 follow your 3d avatar's name then double click it click the mesh click the viewports at here then the skeleton mesh assets you have to change it to become the model 01 let's follow your, your 3d avatar then the animation class just choose the third person animation blueprint model 01 just follow the name done once you've done this step we are going to adjust the foot we must make sure this avatar is inside the capsule then this one you can just make it one so that it will become really smooth to move it we want to make sure the foot is just just at the bottom of the capsule then just click compile save and minimize it next this is the last step the final step the bp third person game mode double click to open you can see the de default the default point class this is the main avatar 
you can just choose the BP third person character model 01. Just by choosing the default point class, it is going to make sure that your model 01 will become the player avatar. Just click compile, click save, and minimize it. Now I'm going to try to play this game and have a look. Try to play this game to make sure that wow now you can see your CC5 avatar already become the player game avatar. And now you can you can control this 3D avatar, you can control this CC5 avatar to become the player game avatar. Then what about how to make this CC5 avatar to become the NPC? It is really easy. Just need to duplicate this. Duplicate and the model 01 still maintain then underscore NPC. Alright, this NPC just double click it. And here this is the Unreal Blueprint. You can just set whatever program at the blueprint here to make sure this NPC can interact with the player or any other NPC. So once you already done your blueprint programming at here, just click compile, click save and close. Drag the NPC into the game scene. Then when you try to play, you can see your NPC is already there. So of course, for this time, I not set any of the program for this NPC yet. So when I approach this NPC, it just stay there and do nothing because it is not programmed with the blueprint. All right, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to make the CC5 avatar to become the player game avatar or any of the NPC in your Unreal Engine 5.6 game project. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!